we have these windows of development uh, in um, in childhood in which our immune system is very, very open to learning, these kind of win- windows of tolerance basically. And what we're doing as we go through these developmental stages is we're learning friend from foe when it comes to microbes because, you know, we've got a lot of microbes that we live with really happily and they're great for us and there's the occasional ones that want to take over that environment which we term pathogens, which are ones that can cause disease and illness. And your body needs to learn that and that's where your immune system comes in. So there's a lot of um, crosstalk that happens in the payers patches in the, in the small intestine, but also all the way down there's lots of immune cells that are constantly learning is this friend, is this foe, and then how do I code for this and how do I, you know, going through life, when do I worry if something's an insult or not? So there's lots of microbes that live within us that actually send signals to the immune system kind of going, chill out, we're here, all is well. But then there are, when pathogens come on board, they'll send different signals and the immune system will listen and go, oh, okay, I need to set up an inflammatory response to try and get rid of something that wants to invade me. That makes sense. The way I think of it when I'm teaching is it's a bit like going to school, right? You kind of, you need to learn through exposure. It's a bit like doing your driving test. You know, you wouldn't just go and do your driving test. You would learn through practice and practice and practice. And I guess through that key development stage as children, we need that exposure for our immune cells to see all of these potential microbes in our environment so that they can learn so that they're better equipped at dealing with these microbes, these bacteria, whatever they might be. So they can learn, is this a a friend or a foe, basically? Absolutely, absolutely. And what we're talking about here is a a theory known as the um, old friends theory, or um, it started off as the hygiene hypothesis, but it's now called the old friends theory, which is uh, brought about by Professor Graham Rook. And if you ever get a chance to read any of his papers, it's it's beautiful. It's kind of saying how our interaction in children with our environment is so, so important for our immune development. And it's this interaction with these the microbial world around us. I guess this brings back to this idea that in modern life, we don't see as many kids getting out there, hands in the soil, eating dirt. And, you know, everything now is so sterile, Mm -hmm. you know, everything's disinfected and everything's plastered in chemicals. So it is, there's obviously a a correlation here that does make sense. Going back to what you said before about a very sterile environment, even in a rodent, what we see as the consequence is clear. So I suppose when we look at the rates of eczema and asthma and autoimmune diseases where the body's attacking itself, when these are all increasing and at the same time we're getting less and less exposure to a variety of different microbes, it it sort of makes sense really ex- exactly what that theory is saying. Yeah, absolutely. And microbial loss, both on humans and in our environment, because we haven't got to the point of Uh, you know knowing everything that's there yet we almost don't know what we've lost we know we're losing diversity is how we term it the different uh, groups of microbes that are around quickly but we almost don't even know how that's going to impact us until you know we get to the point like now that we're like oh these rates are increasing and these are decreasing and and how how did that used to protect us it's a scary thought actually isn't it it's really interesting debbie